This is Derek Tebbers and this is your Farming Simulator 2013 Mod Spotlight. Hello and welcome to a quick uh, update on this 350 wandering problem. Y'all have been yelling uh, all through the comments about how yours doesn't do it and some people say that it does. Whatever. Um, let me talk about why. There's actually a reason. Now I've taken the manual ignition mod out so when I get in this truck it starts up right away. Um, once it idles down It'll drive, and I jump out, it stops. Perfect. That's what we want. If I come up here and push it, it doesn't move. It just sits there. It does a little bit of bouncy thing, but it doesn't doesn't do anything. Okay? That's what we want with our manual ignition mod too. Now, there are two manual ignition mods. One is from FSUK and one is directly off the giant site. So I'm going to put in the FSUK manual ignition mod, which is the mod I've been using, and we'll look at this. So we'll be right back with the FSUK manual ignition mod. All right, we're back in the game with the FSUK manual ignition mod. Now you can see right now, the truck seems to be moving slightly. I, I actually, it's backed up into here now, so it's not moving yet. So let's get in. The reason I know it's the FSUK, when I hit Y, you see that little preheat symbol that appeared down at the bottom for a second? That's an indicative of the FSUK one. So now we're going to move this truck, jump out, oop, turned off, <laughs> jump out, woo, bye truck. Yeah, that, that's not good. In fact, what I have found is I can run up and see I'm starting to push the truck. There she goes, rolling away. So now I was correct in that statement that my the manual ignition mod now I'm using the FSUK manual ignition mod I've been using it since season one it causes wander originally I attributed it to the mods well all of y'all were saying well my manual ignition mod doesn't do it and I went digging hold on will I now go grab the one off the Giants website okay we're back with the the manual ignition mod out off the Giants website. Now, uh, they look identical. When you download them, they both have ZZZ underscore manual ignition. And the one on the FSUK is gold certified, which means they haven't found any bugs with it. They might want to consider going back and recertifying it because it has a bug. The difference being, and when I get in, now look in the bottom left of my screen, you'll see a key and a, a UI. Now, it used to be with the FSUK manual ignition mod, you just double tap Y to start the engine. Now, if I double tap Y, I have to wait for the preheater. So let me start the truck, turn it off really quick. Now, if you look in the bottom left, when I hit Y the first time, I'm going to get a green light and a yellow light. When the yellow light goes out, I can start the truck. Yellow light's out, truck is on. Now, most important thing, does the truck wander? Jump out, truck stops immediately. Does not wander off. If I get around up front and push on this truck all I want, it's not going anywhere. It's not wandering anywhere. Now the reason that I didn't, I knew the manual ignition was causing a problem, but I've been trusting FSUK's gold certification for the most part. And when I downloaded the giant one, they were identically named. So until I unpacked these two distinct mods and actually went in and looked at the script in, and the code that's writing, written behind the scenes, I thought they were identical. They are not identical. If you have the manual ignition mod for FSUK, you'll want to get rid of it and go get the one off the giant website. I will put the one for the giant website below. It is the better one. You can change the preheat sequence by editing the editing the, the mod itself if you really don't like that preheat sequence. But it is the better mod. The truck doesn't wander. So the F-350 isn't as bad as it originally was because it doesn't wander. I don't like its size. It's about 20% too small. However, the mod author used FSUK's ruler. If 
the manual ignition mod didn't prove it the ruler should prove it fsuk needs to go back and review some of their mods and some of their rules this truck must be bigger in order for it to work to to look right in the farm but the wander is not the problem if you have the manual ignition mod from fsuk dump it go get the manual ignition mod from giant it is the better mod so there's your update f350 not as bad but still not a great mod uh until our usual mod spotlight on tuesday and Derek Tubbers. Bye.